Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you have been asking for a color grading tutorial, so today I'm gonna show you five awesome color grading hacks. Now if you don't know how to start color grading, then have a look at our beginner tutorial or check out our dedicated class, which you can find on our website, premierebasics.net. Okay, let's start off with a neat trick to get better skin tone colors. Now, if you want to make sure that your skin colors are accurate, select the video in your timeline and go to the Effect Controls panel. Now, from the Opacity property, use the Pen tool to create a mask on a part of the skin. Now, I usually tend to go for a square mask and I make sure that there's also a darker and lighter part visible. So, I mostly do this either on the forehead or on the cheek. Okay, once the mask is made, we're going to the Window menu and select the Lumetri Scopes. Then open the panel and right click on the scope that is visible and we want all the scopes to be disabled except the vector scope YUV. Now here you will see a white cloud and this will indicate the colors of our skin tones. We want to be almost exactly on this line right here between yellow and red. But how can we do that? Go back to the window menu and open up the Lumetri color panel. Then play around with the temperature and tint until the white cloud lines up with the skin tone line. Now delete the mask or just simply disable the opacity property and you can now see the result. Here's a before and after. Now of course this will affect the entire shot and not only the skin tones. So is there another way? Yes sir! Let's move on to hack number two. Now, we're gonna keep using the Lumetri color but we're going to use the HSL secondary tab. Now with the pipette tool make a selection of the skin color. Then hit the color gray checkbox to see your selection. Then use the HSL sliders to make an accurate selection of the skin that is visible on your shot. So drag the upper arrow of the slider to the left or right to enlarge the selection and you can also drag the slider itself. And the lower arrow is the feathering of that selection. Now once done, use the blur property from the refine tab to blur the selection a bit. Then use the color correction tools to make your skin tones warmer or colder and more or less saturated. Or you can even sharpen them. If we now deselect the checkbox and show a before and after, you will clearly see that this only affects the skin tones in our shot. Okay, let's move on to hack number three. What if you shot a nice portrait but the lighting isn't as you hoped? Well, we can actually play around with that. From the effects panel, look for the Lumetri color effect and drag that onto your shot. Then go to the effect controls panel and from that Lumetri color effect, use the pen tool to draw a mask on one side of the face. Like this, for example. Then go to the basic correction tab and drag the exposure down a bit. Then head back to your mask, make sure that you're in the beginning of your clip and track the mask forward. You can do this by clicking on this little button right here. Now once Premiere is done with the tracking, feather the mask a lot and now you have created a custom shadow on your face. Of course, think about your actual shot when you're doing this. If the light source is coming from the right side, then don't make a shadow on the right side. And of course, you can also use this to create more highlights instead of shadows. Okay, now quick intermezzo, guys. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we have a complete dedicated color grading class on our website. Now, I'll drop a link to that in the description down below. But we also have a whole bunch of super awesome video packs on our website. So if you ever wanted to use some awesome transitions, glitches, earthquake presets, handheld presets or any other type of video assets in one of your projects, well, then look no further and go directly to our website, premierebasics.net, to get your video packs right now. Once again, link in the description down below. Okay, moving on to hack number four. Did you know that there is a super simple way to get the look of any movie you want? I mean, literally any movie. Whether it's your favorite film, series, or just a random YouTube video that you love, all you have to do is get a single still image from that shot that you love. Then put it in the timeline next to your actual video, and then head to the Lumetri color panel and directly to the colors wheels and match tab. Then with your video selected, press the comparison view and now you will see two screens. The left one is your reference view and the right one is the current view of your shot. Now drag the timeline slider underneath the reference view to the right until you have found your movie still. Then click on apply match and BAM! Your midtones, shadows and highlights will be matched with the still from your favorite movie. Now of course this will not make it exactly that specific scene because it also depends on your shot of course. If your movie scene is super dark and moody and you have shot your clip on a sunny day outside, the lighting will not match but the color scheme will. So if you ever want to make a copycat from a film, this is the ideal way to get your shot close to the original movie colors. 
Now moving on to our last color grading hack and that is putting everything from before together. So that means using the HSL sliders to create a selection of your skin to make it warmer and the same technique to make the other parts of your shot colder and even less saturated to create that moody look. Then playing around with a mask to create more depth in your lighting. And here's a final tip, use the HSL curves. Now you can find these in the curves tab and these let you manipulate the saturation of a specific color the hue of a specific color, or the brightness of a specific color, and so on. It's the ideal way to bring forth a specific color range or to change the color value of something specific. Just use the Pipa tool, select the color you want to alter, and start playing around with those curves. Now don't overdo it because this will easily create artifacts in your shot that aren't so nice. And if you put all of that together, here's a final before and after of your color grade. And here's a final tip. If you have a whole bunch of shots that are the same colors and lighting, you can color grade one of those shots using all of the previous techniques, then select the Lumetri color effect or effects in your effect controls panel, then right click on them and select save preset. Then give it a name and bam! You can now use this preset on all of your other video clips. Super useful! Now if you want to learn any specific type of color grading or any other specific effect, then let me know in the comments down below. I usually try to read every comment, so give me some inspiration for future tutorials and maybe you see your request as an upcoming video in the future. Now I'll see you guys next week for a new video and as always, stay creative!